great marketing is your truth shared. It's something that you need to ingrain and bring into the business consistently. Doing the work, that's what you need for success. Hi everyone, I'm Finola Howard and this is How Great Marketing Works. And today I want to talk to you about finding your remarkable. Now I choose this sentence very, very carefully because it is a direct reference to a book that I recommend to anyone who's starting to look at marketing in their business. And it's a book called The Purple Cow by Seth Godin. And for me, it kind of grounds everything around marketing in a very, very simple space. And it's a really good starting point. So I do recommend you go and get a copy. You can download it or you can get it printed. And I'd actually show it for you here today, but I keep giving copies away to everyone who comes into my office. So I've none left to show you. But I want to talk to you about this book because it's a book, as I said, it's called The Purple Cow. And the idea being that there are black cows and white cows and brown cows and black and white cows. But what happens when you find the purple cow? That cow that stands out from all the rest. The one that you notice in the crowd. And it's that same idea, like when we talk about noise in the marketplace. How do you stand above the noise? And the purple cow is you, your point of difference, your remarkableness, your sweet spot in the marketplace that makes you purple in the marketplace, okay? I use this term, finding your remarkableness, very, very carefully because it's a term that's used by Seth Godin in the book. And it is, has two meanings. It's what are you remarkable about or what is your remarkable feature so that we know what it's fantastic and wonderful about you. And then the other side of it is, which is really more important or just as important is, what do you do that's worth remarking on? And that's the question I'm gonna leave with you today. What do you do that's worth remarking on? Have you found your remarkableness? So I want to ground the idea for you and think about this purple cow as this ponders around in your head, okay? And what I want to share with you, because I got another package in the mail. <laughs> so I had to go with this because, you know, you know, flattery gets you everywhere. I got this amazing big package in the mail and look, it's addressed to the wonderful Fanola <laughs> Howard. So already, you know, flattery gets you everywhere. I already love it. And I kind and I know what it is, and that's and I haven't seen it yet. So I just want to share with you that I haven't seen it yet. So you're actually getting my and definitely haven't seen it yet because I need to reach over here and get a scissors. How does that look on film? <laughs> so here I go. Because I mentioned the purple cow in my group or online, I can't remember exactly where, but it is from. This is from. Please do not bend, but from the wonderfully talented and remarkable Rachel Dubber, artist, who is on the Get Strategic, Get Results program. And I mentioned about the purple cow and that I had seen a painting of a purple cow somewhere and regretted that I never bought it. So she said she'd draw one for me. And I'm really nervous. <laughs> but very excited. So let me take it out here very, very carefully because I know this stuff is crafted with great care. And we shall take this, move this aside. Did I miss anything? No, we're good and we're safe and we shall reuse this so that we are sustainable. Okay, and this. <gasps> look, look at this. Can I share this with you? This is the Purple Cow by the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Rachel Dubber, artist, homeware designer, and you have to check her out, racheldubber.com. She has an amazing line of goods called Mossel Dove, which is the Irish for my 
small black donkey and a lot of the profits go to donkey sanctuaries. So she's saving donkeys and she does this amazing, amazing work in aprons, in prints, in all of this kind of stuff. But this is what she did for me. And I am, wow, very touched. So this is remarkable. And I thank you, Rachel. So I leave you with this note. Think of your purple cow. Think of your remarkableness. What is your remarkableness? What is worth remarking on about you? And when you find that, you will find your place in the marketplace that stands out above the rest. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Please do subscribe. Just click on the little red button on the right hand side and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. You're unstoppable. You're unstoppable.